Oh. Close enough. Alright, what I'd like to do is uh, show you given a table um, and how to find the domain and range. So, a couple things we've talked about so far in class is we've talked about uh, a relation. Um, and a re one way we can describe a relation is using a table. And all really a relation is is just a relationship between two variables. So, um, we're not going to talk about how we know the relationship or whatnot. All we want to be concerned right now is I have two, two values in this table. What we have is we have x values and your y values. So we're trying to determine your domain and your range. Uh, what you want to do is we need to determine well, what exactly is the domain and what's the range. So when looking at this, if I'm going to write my domain, all right, when, when talking about a relation, your domain is going to be the set of all your x values. All right. Um, it's also going to be, uh, you know, all your input values. So we talked about x is kind of like your input, and it's also your x value. So your domain for this example, we're just going to set is the set of all x values. And if you see, we have a table. What we have is we also have a y value. So how are we going to represent the y's? Well, we use that for our range. So our range is going to be the set of all y values. So therefore, when doing these two problems, when I want to find the domain and range, the domain is going to be all my x values. So for this problem, I can say that the domain is going to be negative 3, 5, and 0. And the range is going to equal 0, 1, and 8. Then over here for this uh, graph, or this table, sorry, my domain is going to be all of my x values over here. So it would be 1 through 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And over here my uh, range is going to be all my y values, which would be 3, 18, 5, 7, 10, and 11. So when looking, at a, when looking at a table to find the domain and range, really, it's pretty simple. Just take your x values is going to be your domain, and your y values uh, will be your range. And that's how you find the domain and range using a table. Thanks.